What is up guys, Rex here with a new video and today AFK Journey dropped a new trailer for the upcoming season Waves of Intrigue and this trailer is an absolute beast so let's hop right in there. Trustport, the Empire's lawless frontier, an unparalleled hell on earth. Yes. <laughs> Chatterboxes bite the dust the fastest. Fools! <laughs> With our legendary relic, the dead tiny fleet will be the victors. For the felony, every night of Ohio. Top of the pile, the way I fall for the rifle. The rifle they have is some grotesque and the gross nest with the rifle. Now you'll never forget me, Sonia. And there we are back after this absolute monster of a trailer. Honestly, the most interesting part was the comments were already full of like, guys, stop making games, just make it a movie. And I kind of agree. I was super surprised by the quality of all of this because I thought like, well, they probably, I mean, maybe, maybe they shot all their rounds in season one and that was already high quality. And I didn't expect them to like set another level on season two with trailers such as this. This is really insane. Um, so we all also have a Q&A of the developers with some answers to questions. But before we do that, let's let me show you some specific scenes, some specific pictures that are easy to miss in this trailer. I'm of course not the biggest lore guy for that. You probably have to go to Danger Grey, but uh, I'd still want to point out some things that you might have missed. So first of all, many people kind of assumed it. And I have to say, um, in the beginning, I thought Nara, well, she looks a little bit like Harley Quinn. And uh, that, I mean, for the first impression was right. But looking at it now, I think it's more that they took some inspiration from Arcane, I guess, because she looks very, very much like Jinx. Um, and some people pointed out, well, the, the whole town is a little bit inspired by it. And I'm, well, I'm not looking at the lore, of course. Um, if you watch the series, you will certainly see some moments where you think like, wow, kind of reminds me of that. And it's pretty strong uh, in that sense. And it was a good series, so I don't mind. It will be pretty cool experience to go through Rustport. And especially after you watched Arcane, which is a great series and was very enjoyable to watch. We then get to this point in the trailer and this is basically a fight scene. And uh, you already saw it. There were some pictures flashing up there. And uh, those pictures, I mean, if we scroll back, we can see them. Um, there are some that you can easily overlook because it's just an action scene. But if we just ever so slightly go forward, we see Sinbad there um, looking through a window and being obviously quite sad and uh, it's just like this very concerned look that he throws out there uh, followed directly by this picture of um, by Parian in the lab um, uh, doing some chemical stare and I have no idea I mean he's looking into a book um, he's in there does look quite mischievous I have to say it does look like he's brewing something up there that is probably not so good if we look at the, well, back at Arcane, he would probably be a villain in that sense. And the next picture uh, is the one that is already shown there. We can go a bit forward and we see a silhouette that could be Nara's silhouette, that could be Sinbad, looking over the city, being smaller, probably younger. And uh, there might have been a friendship, maybe even uh, some love back between them. I have no idea. We'll probably find out about this. But this was just so three f flashy images right back after each other. And maybe so much implication for the story to come. The last thing that I really am curious about is the sea monster. We always get teased a little bit, um, but it plays very little role in the videos that we saw so far. In this um, video, of course, later on, 
uh, it attacks the ship that we are just seeing. Um, but it always gets teased like this, like we are in this scene right now. And just a second later, we see the little uh, thunder, the uh, little lightning uh, flashing up the sea and shining a light on this monster that is still barely so visible but you get to see that there are those tentacles down below and i wonder if this boss will have uh, implications for the story or will be relevant for the story and if we are about to fight this sea creature uh, with our heroes if he maybe is even going to become a boss i'm very curious to see that let me know down in the comments below which was your favorite scene from this trailer. Did you like it? Um, are you hyped for season 2 already? And uh, for the last part of this video, let's hop into the Q&A with the developer um, with the answers they gave on the most burning questions. Okay, talk with the designers, waves of intrigue, there is Sylvina, sadly not in the new skin. Um, as the new season waves of intrigue approaches, many magisters have questions and uncertainties. Uh, to offer some insight, we've gathered frequently asked feedback and compiled it here for your convenience. Will I be able to play the new season on September 19? Yeah, of course, you uh, you will need to be resonance level to 40 again, and server has to be open for more than uh, 40 days, which is interesting. Um, because at the start, at the beginning, when we were talking about the first season, um, they said, well, this is just a requirement for the first season. It seems to be for all future seasons to come the same requirement of those 40 days. In a way, it makes sense um, in the, uh, that you have some time to clear the story. Um, I think they kind of misinterpreted it here a little bit. You can enter a new season if your resonance level is at 240 and if your server has been open for more than 40 days. I'm not sure this is particularly right, actually. Um, because the last time I saw it, the last time the requirement for the last season was um, that you had to be 240. It didn't really matter. You had to be 240, you had to have cleared the main story, and at that point, no matter the state of your, uh, of your server, you would unlock the season. So I wonder if this is a mistake um, or if they are... Uh, going to revert that change. Um, they say if a service launched before August 11, the season will be available after the update. So it might actually be that they reverted this. So quite interesting that they went back on this change. I kind of liked it actually um, because it allowed players to enter the season a bit earlier to not have any downtime really between their gameplay of the normal campaign and the season. So I think it's good that they are clear about this, but I'm not a big fan of this. I will Steerus still have season skills in the Waves of Intrigue season? Heroes won't have season skills this time. And yeah, I mean, they uh, it makes kind of sense. We now have Magic Champs, which they made a bit stronger. We already saw some of those. Um, they added the new Faction Talent system. The Factions uh, will now provide basically what is the season skill. And um, like really what the season skill was before, it was largely based on the class of the hero. So now we have something... That is largely based on the faction of the hero. So it's not as much as a change. It wasn't as quite unique to the hero as it appeared on the first sight. So in, in that sense, it's not quite as big of a change as some people made it seem. I kind of like it. I'm very curious for the faction talents. I want to dive into those pretty soon, make a video about them, and tell you which ones you want to uh, have at the start of the season. Because there is some tech and some uh, things that you can make good um, in regards to those faction um, trees at the beginning of a season because if you push for example right at the start that's very very important and we'll definitely have to convert that in some form of videos um will my season level reset to zero that is an interesting one um they say in so short you will start at level 240 and really you did so last season too it said zero but you had the power of level 240 so it didn't lose any power the well, not so nice, a little bit ugly thing was though that people felt like their progression was reset. So when they were set from 240 to 0 in the season, they felt like they lost all of their levels, which wasn't the case because you stayed at the same power, nothing really changed, you were still 240. The first season level became your level 241, but uh, it felt a bit weird and I think they did the right change to just say, okay, you stay 240 and it then progresses beyond that within the season. So, pretty good. Will I be able to purchase Season Essence in the new season? Um, no, they say they, they, they removed that basically. It's only in the Season Noble path. And I kind of like that. I mean, um, in the first part of the story when we were in the campaign, 
um, the essence was still a very major part of the progression. I remember when people wailed on this, they were a lot stronger in Dream Realm, and wailing on this was meta for some time, and you basically... Uh, as a whale went into that and upgraded your heroes fairly swiftly, um, which wasn't a very cool thing, I guess. Uh, I didn't like it too much. Uh, and in this season, there, there, there wasn't there was nothing like that. Um, you could, towards the end now, I feel like it would be good if I had the essence. I could have progressed a bit further. But any progress that I make right now would also have been pretty useless. So in that regard, if I now got some extra levels, it wouldn't have mattered in any way. So really buying Essence didn't feel like a thing in this season. So um, yeah, a lot of good things. Lorsan will come and continue in this wave of intrigue. Um, Lorsan's story, and he will be available in future rate ups. So that's something nice. And they are going to focus on guild features, which I think we desperately need. Um, we don't have too many good guild modes, in my opinion. Battle Rits is all right-ish. Um, this boss game mode they introduced last season, which I already forgot the name of it, was horrible. I didn't get to fight the boss single... I, I fought it once. I fought it once. I think I, I got like one ultimate skill off or something. A horrible boss. No idea what they thought about this. That needs a rework, and I'm happy that they are looking into this. Uh, actually, looking to cross-server and server transfers. Some people wish for server transfers. I'm not... I don't really have an opinion on it yet. I, I mean, it can be very negative for the players on the server if some players leave, some players stay. Um, yeah, and I mean, it would also open, in theory, the option for a very strong player to go to rather weak server to just ha uh, harvest the rewards there, which is I don't know. It feels like such a scummy thing to do. Uh, as a sneak peek, an early version of the much anticipated friend duel mode will be released during the upcoming season. We hope you enjoy it. I thought this would arrive earlier, to be honest, but I'm very hyped for it. I really like it. It's, uh, it's in the other game that I play, Idle Heroes, that is one of my favorite things. Um, that you're just able to set a team for a friend to attack and can try different things through this. So, pretty, pretty cool. Um, let me know what you're most hyped about here. Um, is this. Are you going to play the new season? I certainly will. I'm actually really hyped right now. I really love this trailer and the new heroes. I, and especially Nara. I'm so hyped to summon Nara. Actually really can't wait for her. Like the PvP video uh, that we did yesterday in the PvP fights we did there. So cool. She just uh, has such great skills and I'm happy there is such a strong Graveborn hero and I'm very hyped for Rata. Definitely enjoy that. So with that, I wish you a great day and we'll see us in the next one.